Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. It would seem that there was an update to the Cheetah Vendor in the House of Legends. For those of you who maybe do not know, in the House of Legends, there's this wing. Ah, let's go to the map. So you can see in the House of Legends, there's a wing way over here that is called the Living Quarters. I made a video about it uh, way back when. But basically, you can see where it is in the House of Legends. And you can see the, the Cheetah Vendor is right over here in the corner. So it's a vendor that was added some time ago so that we could actually purchase base items from this vendor. And we could actually purchase base items from various vendors, like we could purchase base items from the, the Earth 3 vendors, from uh, the Titan vendor, and a whole bunch of other vendors. But uh, they decided to give us the one vendor over here where we could get a whole bunch, well pretty much all those base items. As time goes by, they are supposed to add more and more items to this vendor. And uh, apparently they just added some new items. Let's take a look. Come on, pay up. My expeditions don't fund themselves, you know. So if you look to the top right of the screen, you can see like a Dark Knight's R2. Basically what this means is that if we go through R2, we can we can scroll through the various DLCs. So these are the base items for the various DLCs. So you can see it starts with Dark Knight's Legion of Doom, World of Flashpoint, Long Live the Legion, Wonderverse, Birds of Prey, Metal Part 2, Teen Titans, Deluge, Earth 3. And that's pretty much it. So let's go to the Dark Knights. So these are the new base items that have been added to the vendor. So you can see they cost uh, death metal coins. Uh, some of those cost uh, 10 death metal coins. Some cost 5. Let's take a quick look at those uh, base items. So we have the Perpetuous Throne. There's a small and a large version. So here you can see the, the small version. And here let's take a look at the large version. Uh, if I purchase them at some point, I'll probably try to show my bases at some point. You should be able to see at least some of those base items in the future video. So here we have the Johnny Quick's Demise. Ah, poor Johnny. So sad. Transformation Vat. Could have sworn we already had something like that. Oh well. Energy Barrier. So some sort of energy fence or something. Rock Flat. I won't be able to show it to you properly. Rock Oblong. Uh, so I guess they've added a whole bunch of rocks for whatever reasons. Some sand. Some sand small. And that is pretty much it. So these are the new items that have been added with the Dark Knights DLC. Not sure why we did not get the base items as soon as the DLC came out. Somehow it took a while before we actually got those items. But now, here we are. There is another way to be able to get those items. Uh, let's use a Perpetuous Drone as an example. If somehow you don't want to play the Dark Knights uh, DLC, or you cannot play the Dark Knights DLC for whatever reason, you should be able to get some of those items from the broker. Basically, you can purchase those items from the vendor and then sell, sell them on the broker. Let's take a look. So here people are trying to sell the Perpetuous Throne for 50 million. And there's only the small version of the throne, so I guess people are not trying to sell the big version for some reason. A question I often get is, Multiverse, how can I make money in this universe online? This would be one way. Purchase items from the base item vendor and sell those on the broker. So there you go guys. So just a quick video to let you know that they have added some items to the base item vendor, to the cheetah vendor. Again, as time goes by, they're supposed to add more and more base items to this vendor. Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see which item they decide to add in the future. 